it's very important to know that there are a lot of young people in the countries of the Western Balkan with great potential that we can benefit a lot um, to have on one hand of course countries that are um, having proper stability, democracy, rule of law, um, healthy environment for economy and also young people to have education that gives them equal opportunities. So it's important that we focus on enlargement of the Western Balkan and we work hand in hand because all these countries are part of Europe and they will always be part of Europe. So we can have a lot of benefits. And young people, whenever I talk to them, they have um, a lot of inspiration, uh, they lack vision and they need uh, some better future than the generation of their parents. This was the region of Vladivors decades ago and of course um, Europe is one continent and we need each other. Today, certainly, there is a big concern because we see massively young people leaving the countries so of the Western Balkan because there is not an environment that would give them jobs, um, better opportunities. It's very often weak economies, we see a lot of corruption still and organized crime, uh, we see political interference in judiciary and in freedom of expression. So we have, through the enlargement process, change that and really boost European values. Now, young people that are leaving their countries can be very beneficial because these are normally highly educated um, young people, so we have to create the environment back at home that they would, of course, be attracted to stay at home. And this is something where national authorities have the first responsibility to really work for their citizens and not for their, quite often, what we see in the region, their own political interests. Um, Western Balkan is part of Europe. It has always been, it will always be so. Um, I strongly believe that the countries of the Western Balkan belongs to EU and in the long run we can have not only political and people-to-people -people contact stability but also economic stability and um, that is why we have to create through the painful reforms this environment that would ensure jobs to citizens, vision to young generation, empower them to give them better opportunities and of course to somehow create the environment that education especially I would emphasize is very important that they have equal access to education, to learn through the process, to see what is better, not to risk what it was their past peace and stability.